Can you comment on the mean QRS axis of this ECG in the next 3 seconds? Before I tell you the trick, you need to have a bit of background information about ECG. If you already have some background information, then you can skip to 1 minute 15 seconds. In the 12 lead ECG, these leads 1, 2, 3 and leads AVR, AVL and AVF are called limb leads. They record the electrical activity in the frontal plane, while the leads V1 to V6 are called chest leads. They measure the electrical activity in the horizontal plane. For calculating the mean QRS axis, you need to look only at limb leads. Now look at this vector diagram. This is also called as hexaxial lead diagram. The arrow points towards the positive pole of each respective lead. So if the electrical activity is towards the positive pole, then the positive deflection is recorded in that lead. And if it's in the opposite direction, then a negative deflection is recorded in that lead. Now look at this scale. This is very important. By convention, the positive pole of lead 1 is said to be at 0 degrees. And all the angles below this lead 1 are positive and all the angles above this lead are considered as negative. Now coming to the trick to find the mean QRS axis. Trick number 1. In an ECG, if you find two tall R waves of equal height, then the mean QRS axis points simply midway between these two leads. Now trick number 2. You find a lead out of these six limb leads which has a biphasic complex. The mean QRS axis is simply oriented at the right angle that is 90 degrees to any lead which shows a biphasic complex. Obviously, 90 degree can be either on this side or this side that is plus 90 or minus 90. This can simply be decided by looking at which perpendicular lead has a positive deflection. Then obviously, the mean QRS axis is directed towards that side. Now, the most important trick to identify the axis deviation instantly. You simply need to look at only two leads, lead 1 and lead 2. In case of a normal axis, QRS complex is predominantly positive in both these two leads. If QRS complex is predominantly negative in lead 1 and positive in lead 2, then it's a right axis deviation. While if the QRS is predominantly positive in lead 1 while negative in lead 2, then a left axis deviation is present. Now answer this.